What's up everybody? My name is Om Sai Gasol. Today I'm so excited because I'm gonna teach you the new course called Design Patterns from Software Engineering. The first pattern we wanna look at is Singleton. Singleton is the most useful pattern that we use all the time in the OOP that let you create only one instance from an object. Okay, let's dive into it. Well, before I go on, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell next to the subscribe button so that you will never miss any of good tutorials. Hit the like button if you think this course series is awesome. Okay, what is Singleton? Singleton will let only one class to create only one object. Does it make sense to you? Maybe not. You imagine that you have a class, then you usually can create a lot of objects, right? You can just call new, then the contractor, then you can create as many objects as you like. But what if the contractor will connect to a database? Then you have multiple instances that call the contractor and then connect to the database multiple times so it's very expensive because one connection one call from your phone or maybe from your app needs the bandwidth from your computer from your phone to the database server right and also it more complex than that like authentication like you connect to the api of the google youtube facebook Twitter etc then you don't want to throw connection all the way you know in your apps you know <laughs> like you call a query you uh, show a message then you just connect 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 all the time right because you already connected so if you are in the same situation you want to create a class and then you think that okay if I call to the constructor one time uh, if I create multiple uh, instance from a class then it can have multiple memory usage, you know, bandwidth, or maybe sometime multiple authentication. Then, single ton. Okay, now we are in the clip, so let's create a new Java project. And uh, let's call it my singleton example, just for easier to remember for the next time. And it's a good idea to create a package. I call com.gusalgeek for my website name and also uh, let's create the uh, first class so uh, there is a singleton class okay as I explained it earlier that a singleton pattern doesn't need uh, many classes just need only one class and um, that class itself represents a pattern the idea of singleton is just to trick uh, a class to create uh, like many classes okay as you can see in this example I can create S1 and this is an instance and then I can create maybe S2 you know and S3 S4 so forth that one will have a problem if the class the my singleton class expensive you know expensive here is not the money but it's like it will take a lot of memory it will need a lot of data bandwidth because maybe you want to connect to the database on the server so you want to trick them to just connect one okay so to do that we have a way maybe before that I need to explain you a little bit about the constructor this one, the public my singleton is called public constructor. And in Java, if you don't create, um, you know, like the constructor without a parameter, it's called default, um, you know, constructor. If you delete that, it means that you create, uh, you let the compiler create it by yourself. But if you create it, then uh, it is yours okay and you can change the code you can add a code in the um, in the constructor but if you want to trick them from create um, you just call it uh, private my singleton so this one 
will uh, will uh, strip you know will will not allow any uh, object to create from the constructor you cannot create it anymore okay because now you close it but then you ask uh, how I can create an object so actually you can just create it by a method so now let's create a method and just call create object okay now we don't know the return type let's call void you know maybe you can uh, do it later and for the name of the the method that create an object it's called usually get instance okay because instance is just an object okay and here we want to test that if the my singleton is already created then we don't want to create so the best way is just create a, a property is called instance and then test it out and what is the data type of the instance actually it is the class type okay because we want to give the object with the my in uh, my singleton okay oh this one i typo and uh, instance okay and we need to test it if the instance is null it means that it's not already created then we can create so how to create because now it is private remember the private can be called inside the class now you can just call new my singleton because even though it is private it can be called within the my singleton class do you get what i mean so now is the way that you can create your own object and you see here if the instance is null then we create if it is not now then maybe we can not create right so in the else nothing just no code and then we can pass the the instance to outside so you use return right and then maybe it's a good idea to delete the else because no code and what is the the return type of, of the get instant method it should be my singleton right because we want to send the data out and just want to restrict right so now is a better way to use that so my singleton as one and we want to uh, get the data we cannot create with new because if we use new then it's just the same way right the old way so we have to use the statics okay so static let the user uh, use the get instant without creating an object and then we need to uh, the declare the instant static too in case you don't know if you declare a property of a class as a static then it will stay in a static memory then it can count it can you know memorize the data that you just created and now you can call uh, get instance okay without creating any um, object now you can test it out maybe just call you know maybe some message okay so maybe create an object is a good idea or maybe create an instance okay so let's test it out um, let's run it okay now you can see the message it means that the object is created let's see if you want to test with another you know creation let's just call maybe s2 and then you want to create another object another instance okay okay let's see the result if you run that okay now you can see only one uh, one line of code it means that the first one run but the second one didn't run okay so this method is a singleton method okay but one issue we have to fix is the thread okay so we have to check because in multiple threading the code in the second line can run earlier than the code in the first line in this case the code in line 14 can run earlier than the code in line 13 you know so we have to check with the synchronized but there is a problem again about the memory wasting so we have to double check that's called the double check logging so instead of uh, declare the method as synchronized we use the synchronized block here 
and then we check out the single my singleton class and we double check if the instance is uh, you know like now then we go into the you know synchronized block and here in the synchronized block the code must run in order okay it's like 16 17 18 19 so so this is a kind of standard code if you want to create your singleton in the future it's the best idea to check uh, the synchronize like this okay now if you run in the single thread you don't see it but in the multiple thread you will see it okay and you can imagine that maybe in the future you will use your singleton class with the database connection okay just call db connection like that imagine when you you know you connect you you connect to the database in the mysql or maybe in oracle in you know uh, other database server it's just one time connection right you don't want to connect all the time why you want to connect all the time it's just only one time and then maybe you can call the you know query you can insert data whatever you want but the connection uh, must be one and let me show you let's see uh, another method just call you know just it's not the real uh, code it's just like uh, example a query that is a good idea maybe you just put the SQL inside as the parameter then you can just uh, show the you know the output it's just uh, um, you know like the ID and not the real code okay so just the system out is fine now okay now you can call the query remember get instant uh, returns an object of my singleton then you just dot and then call query and just delete the first uh, code because now the s1 is db connection and you know query is not db connection just call like that and now the code is simple right because as long as you call get instant then you can get the object you know the instant and after the instant you can call any query you want and here just one method query but you can have you know other method that you want to do with the database you know and maybe just one query and call select insert maybe you have another a specific uh, method for insert into update delete you know or maybe you know get the data as an object whatever you want then it's clean okay so let me recap the code a little bit so when you want to create the singleton you need to declare the default constructor as private this is the first thing the second thing you have to create another method that uh, maybe uh, get instant whatever you want to name it but it must be static okay because you want uh, to let user to call it without create uh, the object by using new right new keyword is dangerous so now we cannot let user to call it by new then the method the return type must be the class type and the modifier must be static and of course it should be public if you want to use it worldwide but you can have protected or maybe a default uh, modifier uh, if you want to restrict it a little bit more but it's a good idea to use uh, public static and the class type and the method name okay and in that method name you can uh, just check if the instance is null then you create the new object and return to the instance and if it's already created then you don't create it anymore you just return the existing instance okay and the synchronize is to check with the multiple thread and after that you can throw any method you want to use you know like in this example i just create another method called query but you can have multiple methods um you know to fit your project okay so that's it for this video i hope you like it if you find this video is very useful please hit the like button and if you have any questions just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you 
in the next video. Thank you.